Circles in the coordinate plane and equation of a circle were at 12.7. The equation of a circle is based on the distance formula and the fact that all points on a circle are equidistant from the center. So for our ordered pairs, x sub 1 and y sub 1 and x sub 2 and y sub 2, we just subtract the first x value from the second one and the first y value from the second y value. And that'll tell us the distance between two points if we find the square of this one and the square of this one, add them together and square that. So you should be familiar with the distance formula by now at this point in math. And what we can do is put the r for radius in the place of d for distance and we can put the h for our x sub 1 and the k for our y sub 1 and we get the radius is equal to the square root of x minus h squared plus y minus k squared. This is really the x sub 2 and the y sub 2, isn't it? See that? If you compare these. We can square both sides by removing the radical sign and squaring r. So removing this radical sign, we put the two exponent here and we get that the radius squared is equal to x minus h squared plus y minus k squared. And this hk is the center point. So from the center point along this radius here to this point would be the xy. So for your notes, the equation of a circle theorem 12.7.1 says the equation of a circle with center hk and radius r is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So that hk is the center point. We can write the equation of circle A with center A at 4, negative 2. So remember, that's the center point. That's going to be our hk, isn't it? And a radius of 3. So here's that formula. We put in 4 for our h and negative 2 for our k. We know it has a radius of 3, so that's going to be 3 squared. We have x minus 4 squared plus y minus a negative 2 squared equals 9. That's the equation of circle A with center 4, negative 2, and radius 3. We can write the equation of circle B that passes through negative 2, 6 and has center B as negative 6, 3. So that's going to be our HK. So it's going to pass through negative 2, 6. So we've got negative 2 for our X minus that negative 6, that's our H, plus, that squared, plus the y value, 6, minus our k value of 3 squared. That's going to give us negative 2 minus a negative 6. We're going to add the, uh, the opposite, aren't we? If we have a minus negative 6, we're going to add 6. So negative 2 plus 6 is a positive 4 squared. And 6 minus 3, that would be 3 squared, which is the square root of 25. So we know our radius is a 5. And we can put that into the formula. And we put in the negative 6 and the 3 for our h and k. We get x plus 6 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 25. That's the equation of circle B. If we're given the equation of a circle, we can graph the circle by making a table or by identifying its center and radius. So we can graph x squared plus y squared equals 25. The first thing we do is make a table of values for x and y that makes this equation true. And because the radius is the square root of 25, or 5, we can use plus or minus 5 in the values between the negative 5 and the 5 for the x values. So we start with negative 5. We're going to go all the way to positive 5 for the x values. For the y values, we're going to plot both the positive and negative values for y. So we have a plus minus 3, plus minus 4, and so on. So let's see what this looks like. We plot the points from our table and connect them to draw a circle. So for our four, first point, we have x is a negative 5 and y is a 0. That's going to be plotted right here. We have a negative 5 and a 0. 
The next one is going to be negative 4 for x and a plus and minus 3 for y. So here's negative 4 for x. We plot the positive 3 and the negative 3. So we have two y values here. We do the same thing for the next one. We plot both negative and positive y values, both negative and y, positive y values to whatever the x is. And once we have these points plotted, we can just connect them to draw our circle. And the center of the circle will be the origin, 0, 0. Now it says graph x plus 1 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 9. And this equation of a circle can be written as x minus a negative 1 squared. So think of this line, this equation, as this one before it became this way. So this would be like step 1 and that would be step 2 because if we're subtracting a negative, we can add the opposite. So this equation became this equation. See how we're kind of going backwards? And so we have x minus negative 1 squared, which is the same thing as this, plus y minus 2 squared. And if that's a 9, we can write that as a 3 squared, can't we? So our h is a negative 1, our k is a 2, and our r is a 3. And remember, hk is the center, so that's a negative 1, 2, and the radius is a 3. We plot the center point negative 1, 2, then we graph a circle having this center and a radius of 3. So it's got a center of negative 1, 2, and it's got a radius of 3. We can actually just do a radius of 3 all the way around the center point and make our circle. So just remember that the hk is the center of the circle, okay? Then we have a radius, and in the distance formula, the x sub 2, y sub 2 are going to be represented as just an x, y, okay? And that's going to be the x sub 1, y sub 1 as the h, k. We're finished with chapter 12, and we're going to move on to chapter 13, and we're going to talk statistics in that chapter. So our next video is going to be 13.1a, the fundamental counting principle. It's going to be followed by 13.1b and 13.1c. We're going to talk about permutations and factorials. That is an exclamation point in your math. We're going to talk about combinations. Now, for those of you who want to move ahead and want to go faster than how I'm releasing them daily, you could go to the description and see the links for chapter 14 and 15 in Algebra 2 that actually taught this. Algebra, geometry, trigonometry, and calculus, they're all linked together. So you can go to the Algebra 2 playlist or to those chapter playlists and watch those if you want to go a little quicker. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you next time. Bye.